Let's talk Botox injections for TMJ pain, which is pain in the jaw or the jaw joint. I'm Katie Puderetsky, a massage therapist, and I specialize in head, neck, and jaw pain. I love teaching about self-relief so much that I created an at-home video course about this topic at helpheadpain.com. People want relief if they're living with jaw pain, TMJD, or craniofacial pain. Call it what you want. Many have heard about Botox and are curious about what it is, how it works, and if I recommend it. Since Botox is a drug and I'm a licensed massage therapist, I cannot and will not tell my clients to try or not try Botox. That's outside of my scope of practice. However, I can inform my clients on the research I've gathered and offer options that they never thought of. That is what I'll share with you here and two client stories you might learn from. What is Botox? And how does it work? Botox is an injectable neurotoxin protein. It temporarily prevents nerve cell signals from reaching your muscles and reduces abnormal muscle contractions. It is FDA approved for small dose use in some medical and cosmetic procedures like wrinkle augmentation. FDA has not approved it for treatment of temporomandibular joint disorders. The idea behind its use for TMJD is to relax the muscles crossing the TM joint by paralyzing them and thus relieving pain. From asking a lot of professionals that do Botox injections, I understand that they use a significantly higher amount for TMJD injections compared to cosmetic injections. Will insurance pay for Botox for TMJD? Since Botox is not an FDA-approved treatment for TMJ disorders and jaw problems, insurance will likely not pay for this expensive treatment. One of my clients reported paying $1,000 to an oral surgeon for one round of Botox injections to only the masseter muscles. Multiple sessions might be needed over the span of several months since the results do wear off. Botox treats the symptoms, not the cause. Botox injections are just treating one of the symptoms of TMJD, not actually fixing the entire TMJD issue. Since TMJD can be complicated, some dentists argue that Botox can interfere with a proper diagnosis of the cause of your pain and note that Botox is not a long-term solution. Complementary treatment. I do understand that sometimes you just want to find that magical band-aid for the pain while you are getting the treatment you need from a massage therapist, physical therapist, dentist, orthodontist, or oral surgeon. If you are going to choose Botox injections, this does not mean you have to ex exclude working with one of those professionals. Botox should be in conjunction with investigation of your issues and seeking long-term support. Know that most dentists and oral surgeons only do Botox injections to the masseter muscle. The masseter muscle is your big cheek muscle. It closes and it clenches the jaw. But that's not the only jaw muscle and place that you can have a muscle dysfunction. Muscles of the jaw, neck, and the tongue need to be addressed. There are also more ways than Botox to treat a muscle dysfunction. Manual therapy by a massage therapist or physical therapist are the most common. You can also be taught self-massage to maintain relief. If you are even considering Botox, take it as a signal to double down on your self-care and self-treatment. Habits and postures need to be addressed and cleaned up. This includes your daily functions, eating posture, and sleeping posture. Client Story 1 the first client I'll tell you about had a classic jaw pain throughout her lower face and grinding sounds in her TM joints when she opened her jaw. Her dentist did Botox injections to just the masseter muscle. Her pain only reduced a smidge. A few days later, she saw me for her first TMJ massage. I massaged all of her jaw muscles to relax the overengaged muscles and did some training to engage the lazy muscles. My intention was to reduce active trigger points, giving her pain, decompress the TMJ, and ask the muscles and nerves on the left and right side to work as a team to get a smooth opening motion. The results, her grinding sound went away, she reported an ease in opening her jaw, and a dramatic reduction in pain for the next two weeks. 
client story too. My second client went first to her oral surgeon looking for relief. She had pain in the face and jaw, and her occlusion, or bite strike, was mainly hitting on the left. After the evaluation, the surgeon said he didn't need to do surgery. It was, it was just tight muscles creating the pain and uneven occlusion. The only tool this surgeon had in his tool belt for tight muscles was Botox to the masseter. So she agreed. She got zero relief from that $1,000 Botox injection. Masseter alone is rarely the problem. When she and I worked together later that month to address all the tight muscles, she got relief. Her pain went down, her opening was smoother and wider, and her occlusion now felt equal to her. The dramatic improvement for her was treating the muscles of medial and lateral pterygoid. Botox wasn't administered to those muscles. At home care. I taught both of these clients how to do self-massage for their own jaw muscles at home to maintain the relief. And I was able to identify a lot of irritating habits and postures that they could improve. If you're saying, I want some of this non-drug relief, know that you can do a lot of this yourself. You just need a teacher. I want you to sign up for a free training video from this place on helpheadpain.com. You'll get a video sent to your inbox to train you on self-massage and stretching for the masseter muscle, as well as one habit to change now. Then consider my full online, learn at your own pace video course called Self-Help to Relieve Head, Neck, and Jaw Pain. I'll teach you self-massage, stretching, stabilization, basic airway involvement, tongue position, and habits to address. If you do this self-care, your body just might be more receptive to Botox, if you still need it, and dental interventions for sure. Follow along and connect with me from any of my online platforms. Please like this video and hit subscribe so you can keep learning with me. Thanks for joining me.